Hi everyone, welcome to Cyber Hunter's Tips and Tricks Guide. Now this Tips and Tricks Guide will help new and veteran players with the essential information needed to get the first place spot. If you just started and don't know much about Cyber Hunter, I recommend watching the Beginner's Guide video first. I'll put a link to that in the card section above. Now the first tip, do not use the auto firing mode. And our first tip is about the option that you can turn on or off. You will come across this auto fire option when you first play the tutorial mode. Even though this option seems reasonable, you should never use it. Remember that this is a battle royale game. There are things called bullet drop. Just because your crosshair is on the enemy, doesn't mean you're gonna hit them. In addition to that, there are many different situations which will require patience and planning. You won't always engage in the enemy at first sight. So having the best position and surprising enemy is very important in firefights. To not ruin these factors, do not forget to turn off this feature. But if you do want to keep the auto firing on, if you really want to keep the auto firing on, or if you're a beginner and still want auto assist, at least have the best settings selected in the options menu. So make sure all the all scopes are selected. So you've got scope times two, times four, and times six, times six, and times eight and also check your button layout is comfortable for you as well. Use the correct droid skills. We've talked about how important droid skills are to change the flow of firefights. I have done a separate video on droid skills. I'll put a link to that in the card section above as well. So watch that if you want more information on droid skills. However, not all skills are useful. Some of them are better than others. You only have three slots, so each droid skill must be the right one that suits your play style. You should always have at least one defense and one healing droid if you are a beginner player. For example, shield wall and healing device is a pretty good skill to have a beginning player and also they're quite low level so they're quite easy to get at the beginning of the game. Don't forget to collect the rewards. Almost any kind of online mobile game these days provides its player with a constant reward system. Cyber Hunter is no exception to this. Whether it's daily rewards or in-game quests that you accidentally completed, Cyber Hunter packs a healthy amount of rewards for its player. Be sure to be constantly checking the reward section and gather everything that is available. These rewards not only contain worthless coins you can't use, but there are also cool costumes and amazing experience rewards that help level you up. And the more you level you up, the more access to skills you can get, which will help you in the game. Pick up the better weapon. Cyber Hunter has an impressive arsenal of weapons during a single match. If you're an efficient looter, you will find a variety of weapons to keep things entertaining. However, in Cyber Hunter, you don't pick up the better weapons automatically, nor is there a sphere of different colors to tell you which ones are better or weaker. It's up to you to decide which ones are the best by trying out different varieties. For instance, in the image below, you can see that there is a sniper weapon. This is one of the best weapons in the game. So if you're wielding a common weapon, which is much more worse than sniper rifle, in this instance, the best thing to do is to swap it for the sniper rifle weapon. Plan ahead where to land on the map. Like any battle royale game, consider the first few seconds of waiting time as your time to prepare a strategy. Before the map starts, whether you are alone or in a squad, it is important to fully decide early on which area of the map you intend to drop on, whether it's directly along the path of the plane. If you're in a squad, it's important for someone to take point and make wave points as to where the entire team should aim to land and boost your chance of survival. The earliest possible drops along the plane are best saved for expert players as they usually have higher player drop rates. This should be avoided if you're a new player. Get to know the map and find places that have high item drop rates but have less player drops. Don't know the map? Use the training bot mode on easy mode and take time to explore. Familiarize yourself with various weapons and skills. Now try out training mode, test out all the weapons. You may find more are suitable weapons for you that you don't usually play. For example, most rifles and SMGs have recalls which alter your aim, so this need adjusting and practice to learn how to use them perfectly. If you don't want to test out training mode, use the first couple of matches to familiarize yourself with various weapons, swap and change when you get the chance. It's best to try many to find the best suited one, then stick to one or two weapons which don't suit your playstyle and are costing you matches. Find and add friends to play with. Although you always have the option to play solo or with a partner, playing with a full squad is the best way to go especially since there's always be better players than you and the whole team performance can affect the experience points you earn at the end of the match also team play can be a lot more fun play four team games randomly and if you have a good match don't be shy to send a friend request 
then say hi when you're next online. Also, if you do start a team play, try to stick together on the map. It will increase your chances of survival. Always be mindful of the shrinking safe zone. The idea is always to stay in a safe zone. If you're not experienced yet, then make sure you have a vehicle nearby or stay within the safe zone where possible. If you're outside the safe zone, your barrel will start to deplete. Once this is gone, your health will also start to be reduced. Don't want to be rushing towards the safe zone while your health is low with no protection. This will make you easy pickings for experienced players. Also, experienced players tend to hang around the ring of the safe zone to pick off new players, so beware of lingering around the edge. Know when to engage and when to flee. Gunfights are almost unavoidable in a battle royale game. The mini map at the top right of your screen is one of the most important functions in the game. If you don't get shot at first, you may see red markers appear on your map. If it's an ammo icon, this means a gunfight has started nearby. If it's footsteps, that means another player is very close by. Either way, it's time to quickly roll away and find the closest cover and prepare to engage. If you are alone or there are more than one or more enemies, then it's wise to flee. If you're in a squad, remember to shout out the enemy's position by clicking on the speech bubble menu underneath the mini map this will help your teammates become aware of impending danger if they haven't spotted it already thanks for watching i hope this guide has been helpful if it has leave a comment in the section below of any other guides you'd like to see coming up and also hit that thumbs up and subscribe button which i'll be releasing more cyber hunter guides every thursday and also I do tap titan videos every tuesday and you can see me live on twitch streaming every sunday at 9 p.m the website is now live you can go to sorrysgaming.uk on there you get the latest news mobile guides and all mobile guides are free downloadable pdfs so you can download on your phone tablet laptop or computer also there's a merchandise section for limited edition gear if you wish to have a look and a live support chat function on the bottom of each page click on that bubble for any live chat or if you want to say hi now thanks very much for watching i'll see you next time take care bye